What is going on guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do some of the video effects that you just saw in that video clip I played at the beginning of this video. And the cool thing about making music videos in general is you can take what I'm about to show you and put your own unique touch on them. So take the effects that I um, am about to show you, put them into your own things. You can even incorporate them into your vlogs. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. It takes a while to make these kind of things just because there's a lot of editing behind them. Okay guys, now that we're in the editor, I'm going to try and replicate some of the effects that I just showed you in a very fast but simple kind of manner so you guys can follow along if you like and I'm gonna break this down basically into three um, main topics into making this kind of video first is put down your video color grade it change it however you want second is take one of the stock clips that I'm gonna put in the description put them over your video change the blending mode so you can add an effect and then you want to do a lot of moving effects but I'll show you which in-depth effects um, as I go along and then the third is the transitions. Three transitions I'm going to be using are the Luma Fade, which I'll show you, uh, the Zoom Effect, which I also made a second video for. You can go watch that if you want. And the third one is the Clockwise Spin, which is very like the Zoom Effect, so it's not that complicated. It sounds complicated, but it's not. So um, this is something that's more of like intermediate to advanced editing, I'd say, because if you want to make a really good music video that's high production and you want to make something cool like this that's going to stand out, you really have to kind of know what you're doing. You, you should know what keyframes are. Keyframes are very important. Keyframes are very important in this kind of stuff. If you don't know what that is, I recommend you go and watch a video on keyframes in Adobe Premiere first if you want to do this. But if you really are just trying to replicate what I'm trying to do, just follow what I do step by step. You can do the same exact stuff. Or I'll put the Adobe Premiere project file that I use for this in the description. You can just go download it and follow it or tweak with it however you want. Anyways, enough talking that I like. And, and just, just one more quick disclaimer, on guys. Many of the video series, clips that so you're seeing were inspired by the Ben Con Youth music video. I'll link that in the description. I'm copying that from there. If you guys want to see a part two to this kind of stuff, I can do another video. Okay, guys. So this is the knife scene that you saw at the very first, uh, very first clip that you saw at the very beginning of this uh, video. So to make it pan in and to zoom in to focus more on the knife when it turns red, what you're going to want to do, click on this effect control panel once you have your clip selected. Go over to motion. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do keyframes. So click this to start the keyframe. Move it over a little bit. And then just change the scale a tiny bit by using the slider. Okay, move it over a little bit. Change the scale a little bit. Move it over a little bit. Change the scale a little bit. Okay, so here's what it looks like. It just kind of focuses on the knife. And I also put this in slow motion. I use Twixtor. If you guys want to use um, the common way of doing it, all you have to do is right click it, speed duration, make it 50. Okay. So now that, you, so now that you've added the pan in motion, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to see that from blue to red kind of effect that I showed you. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to go over here. Uh, usually there's a thing here, but mine is canceled out, so I click Window, Workspaces, and I go to Color. And you're just going to use your Lumetri Color built-in panel, panels that come with Adobe Premiere to just kind of give this a keyframe. So to actually change and do the keyframes, all you have to really do is just change this in any way, and it's going to come over here in the Effect Panels. As you can see, Lumetri Color is now here, and what you're going to want to do, I'm going to drag this back at the beginning. I'm going to come down to color wheels, I'm going to drag down, and I'm just going to add keyframes for all of this. So same step as before, click your stopwatch animation, keep this at nothing, because this is you want to keep the same, blue, 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 and say the music drops there, make sure you're matching this with your music as well. And I'm going to make this red, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the midtones like that color, and I'm just going to tweak with this, tweak with it however you want. I'm going to put the shadows down. I'm going to put the highlights down. And I'm going to put the highlights down even more here. I'm going to put the midtones a little bit darker. Shadows a little bit lighter. Just tweak with it however you like. And then let's see how that looks. So from blue 
into red so it looks pretty good it actually looks better than the first time i tried this so now you can also add a tint to this if you want if you really want to give it that bright blue pink thing that i really did at the beginning because i thought that looked kind of interesting in my opinion as you can see it's just kind of different I'm going to come back here. I'm not going to do it to this one just because I kind of think this is more authentic and like the original Ben Con video. So I'm going to keep it like that. But if you guys do, just copy these settings that I'm going to put on the screen. All you have to do is go to effects, type in tint, put that on there, um, map the blue to black at this point and then just kind of copy these keyframes. But I'm not gonna go into that just because this is really something you can tweak on your own. I'm going to get to the more key parts of the video. Okay. So now that we have this nice knife clip, this is pretty much finished. What we're going to do is I'm going to add these overlays, which you see right here. The no sleep, all this nice stuff moving around, uh, the Charlie Brown, stuff like that, and then eventually into this. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and download the links that I put in the description for the files, for the images, or you can just follow the link to where I found these, and you can just search for whatever you want. I just looked up trippy gif or, or trippy, whatever. This over... This is actually a clip from Requiem for a Dream, which I thought was pretty cool. I'll play it real fast. As you can see, it's just, it's very fast. So I recommend that you guys can, um, I recommend you guys copy and paste them to make it play over and over if you want. Um, I'm actually going to do that just to give it more of a, more long, because this is a longer clip. So as you can see there, control C, control V, copy and paste, select them and nest them. And now you just have one repeating clip. So I'm going to take that over there. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like. As you can see, it's way too small, so I'm going to highlight it. Okay, so as you can see, this is covering up the uh, red clip that we just edited. So what do we need to do to fix that? And this is what I do with a lot of the other effects as well. Is you click on your clip. Is you click on your clip, you go up to the effect control panel like before. Instead of going to keyframes, you're going to click this little opacity arrow. And what you're going to do is you're going to change the blend mode. The blend mode that I use for this effect is I use color dodge, like this. So as you can see, it looks pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to add the next video overlay, and this is the little no sleep TV v VHS kind of look um, that I overlaid. And I'm going to go through the effect controls, opacity again, make sure you're on the effect control panel, blend mode, and I'm going to make this one screen. So you guys can also play with the blend modes just to create the look that you like the best depending on your clip because I use my stock footage. This is going to be different for whatever you do. Play in the very top left, which I like a lot. So that'll be in this download description as well. There's that. And I'm actually going to cut it so it says play the entire time. Same exact thing. Change the blend mode. I'm going to put this one on lighten. So as you can see, that's what it looks like. So now we can move into our very first transition. So there's three transitions I'm going to be talking about this. I've already talked about that. The first is the Luma Fade key. I haven't made a video on this, but look up a video if you want to see in depth. But if not, just follow along with me above your clip. So just select everything, drag it up, add a new, add a new um, video track if you need. And then take this and put it, then take the clip you're going to transition to and place it where you want to fade into, where you want the Luma Fade to come into. So I would say about right there. That's pretty good. What you're going to do, click the down arrow. Click the down arrow with this uh, clip selected so it goes to the very end. Then click this clip, control K, cut that, take this clip, drag it down. So now you have this part, which you're going to add the effect to, and then this is just normal. This is what it's going to transition to. Okay. So now go into your effects, look up Luma and go all the way down here to keying and drag luma key onto this okay select this clip go over to your effect controls and you're gonna see the luma key effect and to get this to work what you're gonna do is you're gonna click this and you're gonna use these keyframes again but it's pretty easy to do it like this so basically you wanna have this at I'm gonna start this at 100 because you want it to be completely because you want it to be completely blacked out and then at the very end of the clip you're going to want it to be zero because you want it to be completely in the in the frame and what it's going to do is it's going to create this cool little fade in transition like you can see here it looks pretty cool in slow motion like that you can even see the silhouettes before they start bouncing up and I'm just going to play that at full speed and that's what it looks like it's pretty cool okay this little clip with the comic book characters uh, quoting Jim Morrison, Ride the Snake. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this comic book clip 
nested sequence number four place that there and we're gonna do this zoom transition so I made a video about this it's actually one of my one of the best videos I made um, in terms of growth so if you guys are coming from that video here's perfect implementation of it I'm gonna show it the exact same way if you want to see the whole video on how to do this um, it's more long and in-depth you can go and watch that video I'll link that on the screen anyways this is all you do you take these two clips select them right click them nest click OK okay use your click on the clip and use your arrow keys find the exact place where it switches to the next clip find the exact place where it changes so right there click control K make a cut alright so once you're here hold down shift left arrow key once twice that's 10 frames control K make a cut shift right arrow key once twice you're back in the middle Okay, so once, twice, you're back in the middle. Once, twice, this is another 10 frames. Control, K, make a cut. Okay, so now what you're going to do, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to look up transition. So this is going to be in the description. As I said, like I said before, go down to smooth transition tile. Put that on there. Now, select these two. Right-click and nest them. Now, take smooth transition, zoom in place it on there and you're gonna see it's already made out for you Take this drag it there and here you go you've already have your zoom effect easy as that just like that it looks a little laggy just because it's not rendered I'm actually gonna make this one fourth quality so my computer doesn't crash I'm so cool.